Hi y'all, Choice here. Thank you again for joining me for another session of Choice Spirit. Today I just want to bring another message about, I talk about self-awareness, bringing your, being aware or checking yourself, know who you are, do a self-check, all of that. You know, finding that 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 animates you, that that is within us, that uh, walks and talks through us, the Most High, the Creator of all creations, that the energy of that that animates our being, so that we may have this experience. I'm just saying that. Bringing awareness to yourself. When you gain knowledge about yourself. By bringing awareness to yourself. Doesn't mean that you. Are automatically changed. What it means is that you're just bringing your awareness to. Yourself so that you see how you're being in any given moment, how you're being in any moment, you know, how you are expressing yourself at any moment in time. Because we can't see ourselves, as I expressed before, we can't see ourselves. We are only aware of the, everything outside of ourselves. And so, it's difficult for us to do uh, an introspection when we don't know what we're inspecting. <laughs> we don't know what we're looking for. And we're not really looking for anything. We're just being still enough to discover how the ego, the ego, we'll talk about the ego at another time. But what they call the ego, they usually say is when you're easing God out, the ego, ease God out, E as in ease, G as in God, O as in out. But I find that the ego is still an aspect. You can't, the ego can't ease God out of anything because it is an aspect of God playing his role within our lives. So that we can uh, express through the ego. The ego is our self-expression. It is what we create as our mask so that we can go out into the world to express ourselves. And so the ego has its own mind, if you will outside of the all mind, if you will. And that mind of the ego is shaped by, by external conditions. Everything external is what the ego is about. It does not know anything about the internal works. The ego can be considered as delusional, if you will as delusional, but we'll get back into that another time. Let me go back into that. Self-awareness is like the, the prerequisite to self-knowledge. It's like we must first become aware of what we are doing and who we are being before we can gain any knowledge from that. And as we gain knowledge from that, we open up to understand, to understand and understand, as one of my brothers would say, more of ourselves. What character we are playing at any given time. What role we are playing at any given time. It gives us an opportunity to check the ego. And the ego is our concept of ourselves other people's concepts of ourselves 
and uh, what we believe, what our inner beliefs are, you know, how we feel, how we think, what we say, what we do, uh, all of that is a part of who we are. And the only way we're going to know this about ourselves is if we check with ourselves 